everyone, it's Kara. It's Tutorial Tuesday time and it's going to be, this is the first Tutorial Tuesday ever. So I'm super excited and I brainstormed a couple ideas of what I can do for you guys today and I decided to show you how to make a canvas board. And a canvas board looks like this. It's, it's a board and um, there's canvas paper, or fabric wrapped and then it's already gessoed for you when you buy it and you can get this in a lot of different sizes and this is really convenient to use because it's thin so you can put it in a frame after you're done if you want or you can just leave it as is and display it that way or you can even it, in the frame even if you wanted to you can put a mat board around it and so that would make it look really nice too whereas um, on a stretch canvas you kind of have to frame it as it is or you have to get it custom framed um, and uh, the really nice thing about canvas boards is they're thick and it's the backing is made of wood so this so you can like put um, hinges on it and hang it up that way so this is what stretch canvas looks like in contrast to the canvas board so to make a canvas board you need a piece of wood like this. I got just this piece at uh, Joann's and it didn't cost that much. You can't, what a lot of people do is they'll go to the um, Worcester, like Home Depot or Lowe's and get a big sheet of um, lightweight wood and um, have them cut it up as many different sizes as they want. So you, that's when you can have your custom size. So you have your wood and you need some fabric to wrap it with which I have muslin which is really good for that and it's really cheap as well you can get it um, this is kind of like a tan, uh, beige color you can also get get it bleached as well they sell them bleach and that will be just white depends on your preference then you also need this which is um, an acrylic medium it's to help bind the, the fabric to the board and there's different there's different ones that you can get this one's a gel one that I have you can also get um, hodgepodge acrylic hodgepodge and that works too but this is the only um, thing that was available at Joann's when I went so I bought it it's matte gel medium matte gel and um, also a brush I have this smooth synthetic brush or this wider um, bristle brush which gives it a little more texture. This um, also depends on your preference what you want to do. So to start on your mat board, get your wood and take a rag or um, paper towel. I prefer a rag because then it won't leave that um, like little specks of paper behind like you like for example you know tissue people does that. So piece of rag and you dip it in water and squeeze it. You don't want it to be dripping wet. You just want it kind of damp so that it picks up um, all the dust and stuff that's that's on this wood. So let's do it. So we're going to wipe it down just so that all the dust isn't there. So it's like nothing should be there to clump it up once you put on the medium and whatnot. So just wipe it real good. Flip it over, do the same on the other side because you're gonna eventually end up having to apply uh, this medium on both sides, but um, one side all of it and then the other side just the border. And just a quick explanation about my workstation right now. This is just our um, wooden dining table and I really like this because uh, it's easy to wipe down. But even so, I taped a piece of uh, just parchment paper um, down of where I'm going to be um, doing the painting on. Uh, just so it's a little bit less cleanup. If it seeps through, it seeps through, but if it doesn't then I only have the one step of peeling the paper back and then the station's clean again for dinner. Okay, so we have that wiped down and we're gonna open this up. 
this again is the matte gel, the matte gel medium. And this is a new container. I, like I said, the Tutorial Tuesdays is also for me to learn something new. And this is definitely something new because I've never made my own uh, uh, canvas board before. I've made my own canvases, uh, the stretch canvases, but not canvas board on a piece of wood. I've made the frame and stretched the fabric on it and then so I've never used this product before so we'll see how it goes it's the tutorial that I'm learning as well as showing you how to do it I kind of wish I brought a little something to put the trash on but oh well okay so I'm going to use this one because I think that it will fit in there And I, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to mix it with any water. So I'm just going to use it straight out of the container. And you're supposed to put quite a bit of this on there. I have a feeling I'm supposed to mix this with water, but I didn't. There wasn't instructions or anything that told me specifically. But just because of how thick it is, it makes me wonder. We'll find out. Worst case scenario, this just sticks really well. I wonder how long it takes to dry. I'm realizing that for Tutorial Tuesday, depending on my tutorial, I might want to do it on Monday so that the footage would be ready by Tuesday because, for example, this tutorial, I have to wait for the paint to dry, so if it takes way too long to dry, longer than I expected, then I won't have the footage to upload until the evening time. I mean, it's still Tuesday, but... Just something I was thinking about. Okay, so there's pretty even and generous coat of this on there. So, we're gonna take this fabric. You know what, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to cut the fabric for the, sh for the size. That's okay. We'll do that now. So you just lay it as flat and straight as you can and you're going to be able to move it too. So once it's on, you take the same acrylic medium and you brush it on. And you want to be kind of firm with it because this is when you're supposed to be flattening out the fabric. Now the whole surface is covered and I'm just going through again making sure to press really firmly now I'm going to, I'm keeping the direction of the strokes even, prep, even pressured and even in direction. So, yeah, that looks really good. Now these are my Fiskars fabric scissors because I just got a sewing machine so I wanted to make sure I had good scissors to cut fabric. This is what I'm using, and the cute it's baby blue. So what? So the edges when you cut your muslin or whatever fabric you decide to use, make sure you leave at least one to two inches of room so you can fold it over in the back. And um, here I have about two to three, just because I I like to be safe with it. 
And I'm going to just do this one more time to be sure. And we're going to let it dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll tell you um, where I got the tutorial from mainly. Like I said, I did do some research online and I did know a little bit about this just um, from my art class and stuff, but from high school. But I have this book called The Acrylic Artist Bible by Marilyn Scott. And I've had this for quite a while and I just like to browse through and look at um, you know certain techniques that is shown in here. And this is where I got it from. I, I'm basing this whole tutorial mostly on this and I did do some research to back it up. So, hi again. Um, I've waited about an hour, I think an hour. It's pretty dry. It's not completely dry because there's still certain um, kind of sticky spots, but that's something we can work with. So moving on to the next step of um, making this canvas board is to flip it over and fold the edges back. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. You can see the extra fabric and there's the board and um, this is the, the front. So we're going to fold it over and it's really important that you put something under it to um, raise it up a little so that the sticky parts um, don't stick to the to the uh, table so um, I have just this little bird box box and um, I thought that was enough because I'm gonna flip it over later okay so make sure it's in the center doesn't wobble so you can take your brush um, while we we're waiting for the medium to dry I had um, left my brush in a, in a tin with water so that the brush didn't dry out. If the medium were to dry on this brush, that's pretty much the end of that brush. I would never be able to use it again. So, soaked it in water. So now we're just gonna pretty much do the same thing we did earlier, except I'm not gonna um, cover the whole back. I'm only gonna cover as much as the fabric will fold over. So, so like on the side here, the fabric gets to there, so I'm just going to put the glue or the medium on the edges, kind of like a frame. So I'm just going to put it, pull it over, and smooth it from the outside in, from the corner in, so that it lays flat.
Okay, so all the corners are down and folded, so it won't be seen. And there's going to be excess glue that seep, medium that seeps out through the fabric. I keep saying glue because I'm using it like it's being used like glue. So, but yeah, so you just go around the edge, sweep it so all the extra medium gets on. You can just put it right back on the board in the back and smooth, use that to help you smooth that because at this point it's still wet enough but if you wanted to fix something you can just lift it up and fix it but I'm just going to keep on smoothing it out. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. Now this canvas board is pretty much done other than waiting, having to wait for it to dry. And it's not going to be dry enough to be worked on in any way, for example, to prime. Not at least until overnight. I actually should have showed to you what the back looks like. Because I folded the corners in, it goes in kind of diagonal like that towards the center so like if you would trace the fold it would meet up with the fold up here just so that in the front you don't see it coming out right there the excess so yeah so that's tutorial Tuesday for this week I'm, uh, I showed you how to make a canvas board and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it so um, if you do venture out and decide to make one Definitely tell me how it goes or if you have any other questions, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Have a good Tuesday and rest of the week and see you on Factual Friday. Bye.